right, this is just a quick introduction to the sky view for your response question. It involves two-dimensional arrays, so you'll be using nested loops uh, generally to loop through your rows and columns. Um, the, you can find the description here in the PDF, so that's where I would start. I'd click on that, um, get it loaded up, uh, kind of read through the different parts. Um, remember, there are help videos out here, but I want you to try them first, and then use help videos only if you get stuck. All right, so um, you know, here's your description, all right? And then you have two choices. Again, you can either write it out on paper or you can do it in Eclipse. So um, if you do it in Eclipse, uh, the setup will be you'll need a Skyview class and then one uh, instance variable, that's a 2D array. And then you have to implement the constructor. So you can kind of type out this heading and do part A. And then for part B, you're doing a method. So you type out the heading and then do the code for the method. Okay, so what it would look like is uh, just make a sky view class, make the instance variable, and then do the constructor heading and the method heading, and then just fill in the code from there. All right. Um, for paper, it'd be kind of similar, I guess. You would just need uh, these headings, right? You don't have to write out all the rest of this. Just write out the heading and fill it in, um, you know, knowing that you can make use of that instance variable right there. So whatever one you want to do is just fine. And then when you're done, uh, same as always, you can turn it in here, the code or a picture of your work, written work, um, or you can turn it in your Google Drive folder. So that's all I got. Um, there's help videos here if when you get stuck. And then always email if you need further explanation. You can always email me your code if you want more detailed just feedback about your specific code. So that's all I got. Good luck.